let us discuss this example in this example we have to find area using double integration so we have this very simple formula area is equal to double integration dA dA means dx dy or dy dx so there is no any function simply we have to find limits of integration and by solving we will have area the important thing is to find region of integration okay so that region we have to find here let us find it here so the region s is bounded by what have they mentioned we have first equation x square plus y square is equal to 16 16 that means 4 square so this is a equation of circle this is a standard equation having center 0 0 and radius 4 so let me mention it is a circle basically its center is 0 0 since x square plus y square we have only and what is the radius radius is 4 since 16 is a 4 square so that's why radius is 4 let me draw a rough sketch of that circle i'm drawing a rough sketch huh? so this is a circle we have okay yes so this is a rough sketch of circle we have this circle right so let me mention here 4 comma 0 and uh, what is the second curve we have y square is equal to 6x power of y is 2 power of x is 1 that means 100% it is a parabola x has power 1 so the parabola is symmetric about x axis and it has positive sign so that's why it is symmetric about positive x axis let me mention a parabola symmetric about symmetric about positive x axis okay i will draw sir parabola symmetric about positive x axis again i am drawing a rough sketch of parabola so we have this circle let me write the equation x square plus y square is equal to 16 right and what is the equation of parabola y square is equal to 6x okay so we need to know the points of intersection now so let us find points of intersection how to find the technique is very simple we put one equation in second equation let us do i should mention here okay everything to find to find points of intersection intersection we put we put one equation y square is equal to 6 in second equation x square plus y square is equal to 16 right let us put it there so therefore x square y square is equal to 6x 6x is equal to 16 so x square plus 6x minus 16 is equal to 0 we will find factors right so x uh, minus 16 nah? so x plus 8 x minus 2 is equal to 0 since product is minus 16 and the sum is 6 so therefore either first bracket is 0 or second is 0 so x is equal to minus 8 or x is equal to 2 so for both values of x we will find values of y so there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then we will go further so let us find values of y for these values of x we start with x is equal to minus 8 let us put that equation of x here so we will have y square is equal to minus 48 right yes see but square cannot be negative so that which is not possible let me mention here it is not possible it is not possible since square cannot be negative so we will go with the second value second value is x is equal to 2 let us put it there so we'll have y square is equal to 12 right so yes so therefore y is equal to plus minus root 12 that means y is equal to plus minus 2 root 3 right so 12 means 4 into 3 4 will come outside 2 root 3 so plus minus since all both possibilities will be there so therefore points are points are the first point x is equal to 2 y is equal to 2 root 3 and the second point is 2 minus 2 root 3 okay so let me show it here this is or uh, 2 2 root 3 and this is 2 minus 2 root 3 okay minus 2 root 3 so yes both points i have shown here right as i told you earlier this is a rough sketch okay so yes so let us show me the region of integration region is bounded by this circle as well as this parabola also okay so region bounded by this two part curves so we will have this region of integration so after that we have to consider a strip we can consider a strip either parallel to y axis or x axis 
my suggestion is it is better to consider the strip parallel to x axis here okay using single integration we can solve it but see if you consider strip parallel to y axis we need to divide this region in two parts then two different double integrations we have to solve okay in two parts for part one part uh, two and then we have to add it will be complicated uh, problem then okay so i will consider the strip parallel to x axis so i am considering a strip parallel to x axis let me mention here let me mention consider a strip consider a strip parallel to x axis so strip is parallel to x axis so i should mention x varies from x varies from x is equal to 2 x is equal to and y varies from y is equal to 2 y is equal to strip is parallel to x axis so we should consider bounded below bounded above we have to move the strip from bottom to top right so strip is bounded below by a part of parabola whose equation is y square is equal to 6x so therefore x is equal to y square by 6 right strip is bounded above by a part of circle whose equation is x square plus y square is equal to 16 but we suppose to write y is equal eh, sorry x is equal to so what will i do i will shift y square on that side so x square is equal to 16 minus y square let us take square root so yes x is equal to uh, square root of 16 minus y square so this thing we will have so maybe you will think that square root can be both positive and negative but we are in a right hand sorry that right hand side of y axis that means where the x is positive so that's why we can consider positive if you consider this part of circle in that case x will be negative but we are on that side that's why i'm considered positive now we have to move strip from bottom to top strip will move like this and it has to cover each and every point of a region of integration it will start at this point where the value of y is minus 2 root 3 and it will move like this and it will cover each and every part it will go up to this point where the value of y is 2 root 3 so in this way we got limits of x as well as y we are going to consider these limits and solve the problem make a screenshot of it first then we will go further see i have considered limits here okay and we have got this integral see i have considered dx dy since our strip is parallel to x axis let us solve it further so this is equal to integration minus 2 root 3 to 2 root 3 integration of dx is x right y square by 6 to root 16 minus y square dy we have to put upper limit after that we will put lower limit so this is equal to integration minus 2 root 3 to 2 root 3 i am putting upper limit root 16 minus y square minus lower limit y square by 6 dy after that we have to solve it further but see one result i had told you in our previous video that result is when you have integration this, like this integration minus a to a f is equal to 2 integration 0 to a f if f is even right and it is equal to 0 if f is odd so yes if it is even function we write 2 integration 0 to a and if we have odd function its value is 0 so that technique we can use here since we have minus 2 root 3 to 2 root 3 same type of limits we have right see y square y square everywhere we have y square so this will be even function okay what is the definition of even function that thing also i will tell you f of minus x is equal to f of x then we say the function is even and if f of minus x is equal to minus f of x we say the function is odd so when we have terms having even power most of the times we will have the even function so this is even function since y square we have right so even function so that's why i'm using the first result and the first result says we have to write here 2 integration 0 to 2 root 3 and the same function i will write here 16 minus y square there is square root right square root let me write it properly okay minus y square by 6 dy see this integration we can easily find but see what about this so there is a standard formula square root of a square minus x square the formula is x by 2 square root of a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sine inverse of x by a so using this formula we can find its integration right integration of square root of a square minus x square 
See, at a place of a square, we have 16. At a place of uh, x square, we have y square. So let us use that formula 2. But I should write x by 2, that means y by 2, root 16 minus y square plus a square, that means 16 by 2, sine inverse x by, that means y by 4, right, minus. Its integration is very simple, 1 by 6 is constant, integration of y square is y cube by 3. So it will be y cube by 3 into 6, we will have 18, right, with limits 2 to 2. 0 to 2 root 3, right? So, yes, let us continue here. We have some space. This is equal to 2. I will put upper limit first at a place of uh, y. I am going to put 2 root 3. Let us see what will happen. So, uh, root 3 only I will mention since 2, 2 will get cancelled. Square root of 16 minus square of 2 root 3. That means uh, 12, right? Plus this is 8, correct, 2 to cancel, sine inverse, sine inverse, okay, sine inverse. I am putting 2 root 3, 2 to cancel, that means root 3 by 2, okay, yes, uh, minus, minus. We have to put here 2 root 3, so it's cube, that means 8 into 3 root 3, we will have divided by 18, if you take its cube. After that, I am putting lower limit 0, let us see what will happen. If I put 0, 0 and anything, 0. If I put 0 here, sin inverse 0 is 0, okay. If I put 0 here, 0 cube is 0. So, yes, we have got very simple thing, okay. Let us continue. 2, 16 minus 12 is 4, its square root will be 2. So, I should write here 2 root 3 plus 8, sin inverse root 3 by 2. Sin inverse root 3 by 2, that is uh, pi by 3, getting. So, it is pi by 3, I should mention. Uh, next, see. This 2, 2, uh, 3, 3 will get cancelled, 2, 2 will get cancelled, so 3, 6 will get cancelled, so 4 root 3 by 3 we will have, okay. So we are going to solve it further, uh, make a screenshot of it, then we will solve it further, okay. Okay, so let us continue now, okay. I will multiply each term by 2, so we will have 4 root 3, right, plus 16 pi by 3 minus 8 root 3 by 3. So, let us solve it further. Let me remove this one. It is not required now. Okay, it is removed. See, 16 pi by 3 I will keep aside and I will simply calculate 4 root 3 minus 8 root 3 by 3. So, what will happen if you cross multiply 12, uh, see 12 minus 8 that means 4 root 3 by 3 plus 16 pi by 3. So, we can call it as square units. Okay, since it is an area, no? so this is the required answer. Make a screenshot of it. After that, we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.